Hey guys, so it's so nice when I get to do one of these videos because these types of videos don't happen very often. So this is Anduin's goodbye in-game cutscene. So Anduin's still under the control of uh, Zo uh, Zoval, or the Jailer. And um, I, I saw this a while ago, but it had like one of those big X's on it, moving, you know, meaning it's not the final product and still subject to change and all that. Um... So it's only a minute and 28, uh, 28 seconds long. So hopefully it gives us some, you know, more context than the, uh, the, you know, beta version did of it. So, uh, yeah, so this is Anduin's Goodbye. The battle is almost upon us. I will deal with the invading forces atop Torghast. When we reach Oribus, you will defend Zerval while he completes the ritual. You mean he will compel me to defend him? Each time he dominates my will, I feel myself slipping further away. Is this what you felt when Arthas raised you, Sylvanas? Hollow. Empty. Everything you once were, consumed by darkness. Yes, young Naya. But in the end, the sacrifices we've made will have been worth it. Once the cycle of life and death has been broken and remade, we will... By that time, I'll have been lost. And so will you. My friends will remember me as I was, not what you made me to be. Stop eating. All right, so I like the fact now. People are complaining about the writing, and yes, it is kind of cheesy, but it's good. It, 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 I, I like the fact that Anduin just basically feel, uh, you know, admits like this must have been what you felt like when you know Arthas, you know, essentially killed you. You know, this hollowness, this this lack of feelings, this just you know complete just feel of nothingness. You know, and, you know, he's finally leveling with her and finally realizing what she went through and how much it, it changed her. Um, so that's one thing that, that some of the characters don't see was how much Sylvanas has actually gone through. Um, I mean, imagine being her and having your soul ripped out of your body and then being under control by the person who killed you, having no free will, no feelings of your own, but then having a small bit of reprieve when he loses a bit of his power, you're able to get back to your body. Only when you get back to it, you're only half of yourself. And the only feelings you had were that of hatred, anger, and any other negative emotion. So, the fact that Anduin's kind of realizing, like, hey, this girl's had it hard. Now, does that justify things? No, of course not. But she seems to have had some grander plan um, for all of this. So they're trying to, you know, make her the good guy. You know, all these bad things, but that weren't really bad. Uh, we saw the last cinematic after Zoval was completed. Gave her her second half, her, her missing half of her humanity. And she became whole again. So all the... Other feelings, you know, happiness, joy, um, sympathy, empathy, you know, all those feelings that aren't negative, she got those back. She's, now, she's completed. She's whole again. Um, so, they're going to try to make it, to spin it like, oh yeah, all she, things she did it was for a reason, and this and that. Uh, Soval's really the big bad guy here. I mean, we kind of knew that. You know, she would turn on him and at some point, maybe because of the domination thing, him wanting to everyone to serve, 
and she doesn't want to serve anyone anymore. She's tired of serving. Um, she's been serving since, you know, she became a Banshee Queen um, in some sort of way. Uh, even after she broke away from uh, Arthas's control, she's still essentially serving um, the, the greater power of life and, you know, death. And so, like, all the things she said at the rum in the gates of Ogremar before, you know, after she was fighting um, Sourfang and all that, you know, I think she just kind of said things to rile people up because she wants them to do something. She wants them to go after her. Um, so I think they're going to do that whole redemption thing, whether or not she's going to die, still yet to be seen. Like I said, if Sylvanas does die, that's fine. You know, she's been around forever. And as long as they give her the death she deserves in a respectful way, because this is the fucking Banshee Queen. This is the person who defended everyone against Arthas when he coming to attack their home. She's led them to victory in several fucking wars here. She, She's a complete fucking badass. So if she dies, I want them to treat her with respect and give her that dignified death that, like, they gave Sourfang, going out like a complete fucking badass. You know, Sourfang, Sourfang walked into that Makara knowing damn well he would die. But he did it to prove a point. Um, he was trying to show everyone Sylvanas' true colors, which they assume are her true colors, which he assumed were her true colors. But in fact, we learned that, oh yeah, she's trying to save everyone. She's just doing it in her own Sylvanas way, apparently. Um, so as long as they give her a respectful death, I'm cool with her dying. You know, um, we, we already possibly have Kalia Menethil taking over uh, as a Forsaken leader, being that she is kind of undead, but she is also, you know, light-infused. So that might rise to, uh, you know, light-infused undead as a playable thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> But yeah, I think that with Kalia's rise in the ranks, we're not in the ranks, but um, coming to the whole Forsaken part of things, uh, they're kind of giving Sylvanas that kind of exit. You know, she no longer needs to lead the Forsaken. She can either kind of go off and do her own thing, or they feel confident enough that her story has pretty much come to its end where they can say, yeah, we can confidently kill her off and know that we're going to give her a great send-off after a character that's been around since Warcraft 3. Um, so, hopefully it doesn't come to that, because I would love to see her stick around, but I don't think keeping around characters for too long after their you know, purpose is done, kind of like Sourfang, he served his purpose for BFA, and he was given an awesome send-off. The, the cinematic was absolutely gorgeous he died with the honor he wanted he died like he wanted to because every time he tried to die he just ended up surviving he wanted to be reunited with his son and he finally got it so you know maybe she'll find the peace and death she couldn't find in life so but actually no given the fact that she has her second pair now she's whole again they're not going to kill her off anytime soon actually because that would be stupid. Oh yeah, give her her humanity back just to kill her off. They're not going to do that. But anyways, what do you guys think? Uh, leave comments below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.